Good morning, everybody. It's a special day today. Uh, I welcome you all. My name is Aria van Veldhuizen. I'm one of the SICA board members. And it's a pleasure to have you here this morning. And it's, I also welcome those who are watching us through live streaming, which is an absolute novelty within SICA, but as I've heard, also a novelty within ICOM. And it's very exciting for us because depe being depending on technique, you never know how it works and if it's going to work like we intended. Uh, those of you who are, who are watching uh, through the internet, uh, through live streaming, you are welcome to post questions and you may send them. Uh, well, we don't have a general e email address for Sika yet, uh, but you can send them directly to the email address of Emma Nardi. Uh, and this is nardi at uniroma3, with a three, a number, uh, dot uh, IT, and it is on the screen here. You may also ask questions in Spanish and French, and our polyglot, uh, Nicole Gachet, who happens to have her birthday today, congratulations. <laughs> She, she will uh, do her very best and select, uh, pick a few questions for the final discussion. Well, first, it's my challenge to make sure that we have time for a final discussion. Uh, so I, I, I will be quick and give the floor to the first speaker, and that's uh, the SICA president, Emma Nardi, and she's going to report on last year's survey uh, among the SICA members. Emma Nardi. Good morning again to everybody. I find it very exciting to know that we are going to have the first live streaming session, not only in SECA, but among all international committees. Uh, it's our first time, and it's the first time for ICOM as well. Um, I am Emma Nardi. I am SECA president since last November. And the work we have done uh, in this almost full year all stemmed from the SECA membership survey that was carried on in 2010. One of the questions we asked members was their participation to the annual conference. And the result um, we had was that more than half the members never attended a SECA conference. The reasons why they didn't attend was mainly related to lack of funding. This is why we thought that it was important to find a solution for people who can't come, but are still willing to see what's going on. Of course, we have a problem, because we are a worldwide organization, and we can't expect people in the States to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning to follow the conference. So mainly, I think that the initiative concerns people living this year in Europe. But we are going to record the live streaming and put it in the website, which means that in not live, but later on, also members working and uh, living in different continents can have a look at that. When we send a message for the live streaming, I got many answers from different countries. So you see, we have Italy, France, Finland, Georgia, Spain, Iceland, Czech Republic, Germany, Norway, Israel, Belgium, and the United Kingdom, who expressed their will to be connected. So as you see, we know for sure that 13 countries 
have museums that in this very moment are looking at us. But perhaps we have more who just connected <coughs> themselves <coughs> without letting us know. Uh, again, you see, <laughs> a nice picture of this year conference. Now, going back to the SECA survey, we gathered data about who are SECA members, so their characteristic, and again, no ICOM International Committee ever had the same idea. And we also asked for their opinions, their expectations, what they wish the committee could give them. All the results about who we are are published in ICOM Education 22. And in a few days' time, everybody will la download the publication from the new website. So we have a few hard copies, but all members can uh, read the results completely through the website. Now, I'm not going into many details, but just to give you an idea of the model SECA member, it is a woman, we are mainly women, it is a, a woman who works in a museum, uh, who is an individual member, European, mainly of our membership is in Europe, and is between 42 51 years old. So it's difficult to imagine that a single person could gather all these characteristics. But, but, we have here the president <laughs> of our organization committee who organized such a wonderful conference, who is exactly <laughs> in this condition. So you see, we can take her as an example of the typical SECA member. Uh, now, just to go to a more serious topic, what do SECA members think? Um, we had some open-ended questions in the questionnaire, which were very, very useful to take new ideas. And mainly, members expressed three categories of wishes. First of all, SECA must improve communication. Second, we need to reflect about professional development and we want to know about best practice. This is what the members told us through the survey. And this is how the board decided to work since last November. Now, communication. ICOM education uh, has been scanned from its first issue to issue 22 and will be put in the website so that everybody can, can read the articles that were published in the past years. So now every issue will be put on a PDF file in the website. Of course, we also have a new website and I think it will be a very useful tool of communication. As I said before, the presentations of the live streaming will be recorded and also put on the website for members who live outside Europe. Um, during the conference, we always present new books. Now we have a form in which the book is described and all the forms 
will be put on the website. So year after year, we are going to build a bibliography of the newest publications in the field of education and cultural action in museums. This year we have 10 books. Is that correct, Zelika? This is what I, I saw, 10 books. So 10 forms will go to the website. And also the board decided to have a world newsletter to be posted and again to be put on the website to give useful information to all members. Professional development. So the board has, has this idea. We'll, we all have to teach and we all have to learn because each member has specific competencies, specific skills, which can be different from skills of other members. So it is important that we can know who is proficient in what. So that's why um, we organized a questionnaire um, which was uh, launched before uh, last summer. We still have more than 200 members who filled it, but we would like to open it again so that people who didn't have time to do it before summer could join us and make a description. Why? Each of us has the experience that sometimes we need to organize a seminar, a workshop, a conference. This is a very useful tool where we can find among SECA members the experts. We are a large community. We represent the best of knowledge in the field of museum education. We must know more about each other. Best practice. Many, many members said that they would like to know more about best practices. So again, and you will see in the following presentation the work which has been done, we are working on best practice. What do we consider? as best practice in museum education. And Colette Dufrentassé and Marie Clarté Oney will speak us about that and they will present the results uh, of their work. Again, research development. How can research foster best practice? What we would like to do is an interchange between professional practice and research, so that research is not an abstract activity, but it's related to the professional activity, and professional activity can reflect on the results of good and steady research. This is the way we would like to uh, act in the next year. And projects, intercontinental projects. We have to rem remember that we, we are an international community. We have members in five continents. Our ambition would be to find crossing activities in different continents in order to build a, a closer SECA community. We call this activity Building Bridges Among Continents. And another question we ask ourselves. We, we want to be linked to members, but we also want to fit in ICOM strategic plan. So here, you have in the four corners the main points of ICOM strategic plan and I'm going to show you how we can fit in it. Each activity we have organized 
has a link to one of the points in the strategic plan. So I think that SECA is a committee that can give a great contribution to the development and the implementation of ICOM strategic plan. The, the presence here in Zagreb of the Director General is a proof of the interest that ICOM shows towards our work. And just to conclude, as you know, I come from Rome. This is Castel Sant'Angelo, and every year we have five works in the day of St. Michael's. Why I'm showing you five works? Because it's my personal greeting to all board members who worked a lot during all the past months. Here you have their pictures. You can find them again in the new website. And thank you for your attention. Thank you.